Hello and welcome to this session. Today I'm going to show you how to solve this error. JavaFX runtime components are missing when I try to run a Java application based on JavaFX. So let's reproduce the issue. So I developed a small tool based on JavaFX. As you see here, this is the class. This is an application that extends application from JavaFX. It consists of one UI. When I started this using IntelliJ, as you see, it works as expected. However, I wanted to run the application as char file in the POM file. I added this plugin, Maven assembly plugin, and added this information this is my main class that should be executed. You can check out my video on how to create a jar file with all its dependency. Let's create the package using Maven. Package has been created. And you see I have two files. This one from the size you can see that all needed dependency are included in this jar file. Now let's run using this command. And you see I got this error even though the needed dependency is in this char file. And the problem is that since Java 9, the GDK doesn't include the jar file for JavaFX. And due to modularity introduced by Oracle, you see here in this file. So it is not enough to have the jar file in your package. You need to define which one should be exposed. And you see that only these packages can be accessed by the GDK. Everything else is not not exposed unless the jar file has also this file to expose their API. The problem that JavaFX doesn't support modularity. The question now why this is working in IntelliJ. So let's run again and you see it is working. IntelliJ automatically add all jar files to the class path. So there is another way to get around this. One possibility is to add one class, for example, entry point with the main method and inside this one we will delegate the work to the main class from here this is my application main and after that we will define this in the pom file as main class we save and let's create the package so package has been created let's check and you see we have the file so let's call the jar file using this command and see if it works jar file and you see now it looks better it is working so the issue was only due to this modularity programming style introduced by oracle so as already said it is not enough to have the jar file in your package so you have to explicitly define which one can be accessed from other packages the virtual machine has no problem to access this class because it is exposed in this configuration file it is true that this class is inside this package and this package is exposed however it extends this application from the java fx and this one is not exposed so this is the difference i hope this was helpful for you thanks for watching and bye